Hello Indie Game fans, like yesterday, we do have some Kickstarter titles of interest in this video, but the difference is that they're already fully funded, so any more will just be icing on the cake, and we do also have some other awesome games to check out. Let's begin with Black Wind, a kick-ass top-down sci-fi action title where you're in a prototype battle armor, having to use its powers to cut a swath through alien invaders. It's super sleek and stylish, looking to have quite a nice variety of attack options, environments and enemies. I usually save the best for last, but I had to kick off this video with an all action title and it's certainly worth a wishlist in my opinion. If you're loving the indie game videos, do me a favour and smack that like button and subscribe, special video planned at 69 for 20 subscribers. Lamao. A cute if slightly depressing game is Legend of Homebody, releasing out of early access this month and is a management sim where you play as a shut-in, trying to earn a living in any way that you can. Perhaps unwillingly, many of us have been confined to our homes for one reason or another over the past year, so I'm sure that you can relate, but more than that, the homebody as a concept does have both positive and negative associations. The introverts among us will say that it's perfectly fine with the ability to work from home on the internet without having to interact with real life human beings is a blessing, but then comes the stigma about being antisocial or socially awkward. I do think that it's more prevalent in Asian culture, in China, Korea and Japan in particular, although it does seem to be an increasing worldwide trend where the term hikikomori has been coined for these people, leading to their own set of issues. But if you're the type that needs loads of alone time, I totally get it. Still, it's a nice looking game but does have some depressing achievements in quotes shown at the start of the trailer of possible consequences of bankruptcy, starvation, sudden death, mental breakdown or being broke, being an oddly dark title that is worth a look. This video is brought to you by Ragnarok, an awesome VR rhythm game where you play as a drummer on a viking longship, rocking out to some sick beats from a carefully curated selection. It does seem as though rhythm games are the most natural fit for VR, but unlike something like Beat Saber, this does use more of a traditional note highway that you would find in Guitar Hero, but having to use two hammers as drumsticks using VR controllers is definitely a different feeling experience. I do have to apologize since these are all licensed music, which I had to swap out due to copyright issues, but do take a look at the original trailer on the Steam page. The tracks are all epic rock and metal tracks with a Viking, Celtic or pirate feel definitely fitting for this title, so for another fantastic rhythm game, check this out. This world is Inventorium. Our first Kickstarter title of the video is Tesla Inventorium, a lovely looking hand drawn point and click adventure game set in the mind of Nikola Tesla himself. A 
According to legend, Tesla's inventions were all prototypes in his head, but this game is a peek into the possibilities there, all wrapped up with a fantastic hand-drawn look that does remind me of something like Broken Age. It just crossed its target as of recording, with 2 weeks to go, so check out the campaign for stretch goals and rewards. While I do usually cover indie games, one bigger developer that I adore is Frontier Developments, since they're making tycoon games in this day and age, which is admirable to say the least where Planet Zoo Africa Pack is the latest DLC for their Zoo Tycoon game. With the wonders of modern technology, everything in this game is taken up to its modern best with realistic looking animals, massive crowds of visitors, and impeccable details in the decorations. This pack adds 5 new animals, 180 scenery pieces, and 1 new challenge zoo in the Oasis Bazaar, making it one for fans of the genre. An upcoming 2D survival crafting title that caught my eye is Outworlder, a pixel art title that certainly has more than a little in common with Terraria, but that's not a bad thing since that game is THE bar in the genre. Apparently you have direct NPC control, so you can direct them as you build up a self-sustaining colony, where if you enjoy titles like Starbound, this one will be of interest. Speaking of space, Astro Colony is our next Kickstarter title of interest, being a first-person entry where the developers cite Raft, Factorio, and Space Engineers as the main inspirations. You're able to gather resources from floating asteroids at the start, crafting and refining them to build an automated base, thereby generating the power that you need to explore the universe, so it does seem to be quite the ambitious title. The closest comparison that I can think of would be Satisfactory, but in space! where the variety in construction options and bases that you're allowed to build does look very impressive. If you love the factory builder, I'm sure that you're already down for this, and with an early access launch slated for April next year, you'll be playing this a lot sooner than you think.
I mentioned that I love how Korean developers are increasingly becoming more prominent on Steam, where Merge and Bleed is one such game which has my attention. It's a pixel art puzzle auto battler, so I'm in, where in addition to the regular auto chess elements of buying and merging units, this does have a super puzzle fighter style interface where you drop units and combo them to combine them, bringing something new to the table. It's a title that I missed in June, which is certainly worth a look, although it is in early access, but will be one that I'll be keeping an eye on. I just covered the outbound ghost in my video on the Wholesome Direct, but this adventure RPG with a Paper Mario inspired art style is certainly worth supporting. You play as a ghost, trying to find out the cause of your own death, being stuck in limbo as you help the other characters deal with death, let go and pass on into the afterlife. The developers describe this as an RPG without any of the numerical or statistical systems which is interesting, describing the game as an Undertale-like and that there is quite a variety in systems and game design. It looks awesome so I'm in, where it hit 100% funding in just 32 hours, but do check it out for the reward tiers. A fascinating entry to me is Black Geyser Careers of Darkness, an isometric party-based CERPG that does look to be inspired by classics of the past. You can definitely see the lineage of Baldur's Gate and Planescape Torment in this, where it does look old school but with some modern polish. Like the classics, the role-playing element is strong, where your choices will affect the fate of the kingdom, having a morality, good and evil system, where the best part is that it's out next month, taking the number one spot. For my picks of the best indie CRPGs, watch this video and I will see you after the jump.